Ever wondered why some drivers act the way they do? Could their personality traits be influencing their actions on the road? Let's delve into a particular personality type, the narcissist. Narcissism is a term originated from Greek mythology, where Narcissus fell in love with his own reflection. Today, it's a recognized personality disorder characterized by an inflated sense of self-importance, a deep need for excessive attention and admiration, troubled relationships, and a lack of empathy for others. Prevalence of narcissism varies, but it's estimated that up to 6% of adults might exhibit symptoms of narcissistic personality disorder. Narcissism isn't just a clinical term. It's also a societal one, describing individuals who display high levels of self-interest or self-admiration. How does this manifest in everyday behavior? You might notice a narcissist's constant need for praise, sense of entitlement, or disregard for others' feelings. Now let's see how these narcissistic traits could potentially influence someone's driving behavior. Impulsivity and risk-taking, two common characteristics of narcissism, can have serious implications on the road. Imagine this, a driver who is always in a hurry, not because they're late, but because they thrive on the adrenaline rush of speed. This isn't just about getting from point A to point B. It's about the thrill, the excitement, the sense of superiority that comes from leaving others in their dust. Now, let's delve into the mind of such a driver. The narcissist's need for instant gratification is like a powerful engine, pushing them to make split-second decisions. They don't have time to consider the potential consequences. They want to feel the rush here and now. They might weave through traffic, disregard speed limits, or take unnecessary risks to satisfy this need. Then, there's the sense of superiority which adds fuel to their high-speed pursuits. Narcissists often believe they're above the rules, better than the average driver. They might think, speed limits are for others, not for me, or I can handle this speed, I'm an exceptional driver. This inflated self-perception might lead to reckless driving behaviors like overtaking dangerously or ignoring traffic signals. But here's the rub. The road is not a personal playground. It's a shared space where everyone's safety depends on mutual respect and adherence to the rules. When a narcissist prioritizes their own thrill-seeking over the safety of others, they're playing with fire. One wrong move, one miscalculation, and the consequences can be devastating. In the end, it's not about who's the fastest or the most daring. It's about reaching our destinations safely. Impulsivity and risk-taking might give a narcissist a fleeting sense of victory, but at what cost? A traffic ticket, a damaged vehicle, or worse, a life? So, while the thrill of speed might feed a narcissist's ego, it can also put them and others at risk. The road is not a stage for personal gratification or displays of superiority. It's a shared space, and it demands our respect, our care, and our responsibility. Aggression and entitlement, another pair of narcissistic traits, often lead to a lack of civility on the road. Imagine you're cruising along a highway, when suddenly a car swerves in front of you, cutting you off with mere inches to spare. The driver, seemingly oblivious to your shock, speeds off, leaving you in a cloud of exhaust fumes and disbelief. This is a classic example of aggressive driving, often fueled by a sense of entitlement and inflated self-importance, Traits common to narcissists. Why does this happen? Well, a narcissist's inflated ego makes them believe that they are superior, that they deserve to be first, to be the fastest, and to be the most important on the road. They feel entitled to break the rules if those rules inconvenience them. This entitlement can manifest as tailgating, weaving in and out of traffic, or even road rage. They may honk excessively, flash their lights, or make obscene gestures, all in an effort to assert their dominance. Further, aggression often stems from a narcissist's inability to tolerate any perceived slight or criticism. If they feel someone is driving too slowly or not giving way, they may take it as a personal affront. This can trigger a disproportionate, aggressive response. They might speed up to overtake, cut the other driver off, or even engage in dangerous maneuvers, all to teach the other driver a lesson. This sense of superiority, entitlement, and aggression isn't just unpleasant for others on the road, it's also dangerous. It can lead to accidents, confrontations, and a generally hostile environment for all drivers sharing the road. 
It's important to note, however, that not all aggressive drivers are narcissists, and not all narcissists drive aggressively. But understanding these tendencies can help us be more aware, more patient, and hopefully more safe on the roads. Unfortunately, this can create a hostile environment for all drivers sharing the road. A narcissist's lack of empathy and responsibility can have serious repercussions on the road. Picture this. A driver, so wrapped up in their own world, they seem oblivious to the impact of their actions on others. This is a common scenario when narcissism gets behind the wheel. A key characteristic of narcissism is a lack of empathy, an inability, or unwillingness to perceive and respond to the feelings and needs of others. This lack of empathy may manifest as an indifference towards the safety and well-being of other road users. Imagine a car cutting you off in traffic or zipping through a red light without a care for the potential consequences. These actions aren't just reckless. They demonstrate a profound lack of empathy for those sharing the road. And it's not just about the immediate actions, but also the potential domino effect. One wrong move can set off a chain of events, leading to accidents that could have been easily avoided. Equally concerning is the narcissist's difficulty in acknowledging their own mistakes. It's as if they're wearing blinkers that prevent them from seeing their own faults. If they're involved in a road incident, they might be quick to point fingers, blaming everyone but themselves. This inability to take responsibility for their actions is a significant issue. Why? Because acknowledging mistakes is the first step toward correcting them. If a person can't admit they were wrong to speed or to ignore traffic signals, they're unlikely to change their behavior. This lack of accountability is not just a problem for them, but for all who share the road with them. It becomes a public safety issue, a ticking time bomb on wheels. But it's crucial to remember, these are potential tendencies, not guaranteed outcomes. Some narcissists might be cautious drivers, while others might not be. Judging individuals solely based on personality traits is unfair and inaccurate. This lack of responsibility can make it difficult to address and correct dangerous driving behavior. Let's all strive to be more mindful of our actions on the road, for our own sake and for the sake of others. Finally, a narcissist's need for attention and aversion to authority can also impact their driving. It's not uncommon to see some narcissists engaging in attention-grabbing behavior on the road. This could take the form of flashy displays of speed, weaving in and out of traffic, or even intentionally ignoring traffic signals. All of these behaviors serve one purpose, to attract attention and assert dominance. The thrill of being noticed, of standing out from the crowd, feeds their inflated self-image and sense of superiority. However, this need for attention can have serious consequences. Not only does it increase the risk of accidents, but it can also create a hostile driving environment for others. When one driver behaves unpredictably or aggressively, it can cause stress and confusion for other road users, leading to a breakdown in the smooth flow of traffic. Furthermore, the narcissist's aversion to authority and limitations can further exacerbate their problematic driving habits. This often translates into a blatant disregard for traffic rules and a lack of respect for law enforcement officers. For a narcissist, traffic rules can be seen as restrictions to their freedom, an affront to their sense of entitlement. Similarly, encounters with law enforcement can be perceived as a challenge to their autonomy and superiority, often provoking defensive or even confrontational responses. However, it's important to remember that these are potential tendencies, and not every narcissist will display these behaviors. Similarly, these behaviors are not exclusive to narcissists. Many other factors can contribute to dangerous or disrespectful driving habits, such as stress, lack of sleep, or substance abuse. These behaviors not only endanger the narcissist and other road users, but also disrupt the order and safety of the road system. It's crucial for all of us to understand the potential impacts of these behaviors, not to label or judge, but to promote empathy, understanding, and safer roads for everyone. While these tendencies can be associated with narcissistic personality, it's important to remember they're not exclusive to narcissists. Today, we've explored how certain narcissistic traits like impulsivity, aggression, and a lack of empathy could potentially influence driving behavior. From reckless speeding to road rage, 
these behaviors can pose serious risks on the road. We've also discussed the possibility of attention-seeking behaviors behind the wheel and a general disregard for rules and authority which could lead to traffic violations and disrespect towards law enforcement. But let's not forget these are potential tendencies, not definitive outcomes. There are cautious, narcissistic drivers and non-narcissistic individuals who may exhibit similar behaviors. It's unfair and inaccurate to judge solely based on personality traits. Understanding these tendencies can help us all become more aware, patient, and safe drivers. Remember, the road belongs to everyone, and respect goes a long way in ensuring our journeys are pleasant and safe.